The center angle method, or CAM, is a common meet point strategy for building gemstone geometry. This method can be used for almost any shape, regular or irregular, and creates very accurate gemstone outlines. In CAM faceting, some guide faces are cut to a culet point, and then girdle faces are cut on the same indexes as those guide faces to create an exact shape. The rest of the gem is then built within this framework. Sometimes the guide faces are retained in the finished gem. Sometimes they are partly cut out, and sometimes they are removed completely. When they are removed completely, the guide faces and the girdle outline together are called a cam preform. Cam construction can be faster for complex designs than simple meet point faceting because it generates the outline of the stone more accurately and more quickly. To demonstrate cam strategy, I'll use a variation of the classic Watermeyer Trillion that is one of my favorites to cut. This design starts out by cutting guide faces to a point at an angle of 41 and a half degrees on an index of 6. This creates a temporary culet point here. In many fastening designs, this process will be abbreviated CTP, or Cut Temporary Point. The second guide faces are cut at an angle of 44 degrees on an index of 2. They meet the temporary culet point here. Girdle faces are then cut on the same indexes as the guide faces to create an even girdle. The girdles on index 6 locate the corners of the finished shape, like this. Then the girdles on index 2 meet the junction of guide face 1, guide face 2, and the first set of girdles at this point. This completes the trillion shape. To finish the pavilion, mains at 42 degrees are cut on an index of 4 to meet the reference point at the junction of four faces, guide face 1, guide face 2, and the two girdle faces. So the point is right here. After the stone is transferred, the crown is cut in the usual way, with break faces establishing a level girdle. The crown mains meet the junction of the two break faces with the girdle, here. Star faces are cut to the meet point where the mains cross the first set of break faces, right here. The second set of star faces meet the point where the mains cross the second set of break faces, here. Finally, the table is cut to meet the tips of the main faces where both sets of star faces cross, here and here. For more information about the CAM process, stay tuned to the Gemstone Artist channel on YouTube, or for hands-on coaching, attend one of our faceting boot camps. Details are on the website at www.gemstoneartist.com.